life. Shall we have a walk hand in hand? Yeah, down I can't have lane? a choice. Well, let's go. Let's on. have a look. <laughs> Good morning and welcome to BBC News. Plans for privately run drunk tanks to tackle alcohol fuel disorder have been backed by police chiefs. Under the proposals, drunk troublemakers will be taken to cells run by private firms and have to pay for it once they've sobered up. Uh, well, plenty more to come from here, of course. None of it news, uh, because that'll come from Buckingham Palace. But that won't stop us. We'll see you later. Rachel. Simon, glad to hear it. Thanks very much indeed. Uh, Simon Bacoy there for us. <laughs> now, you're watching BBC News. Just bear in mind it is August. Uh, this does not look like a walk in the park. Dog owners and their pets in California have hit the waves in the second annual World Dog Surfing Championships. Here are the pictures. Not all style. There are also prizes for the best dressed and tandem surfing dogs. The winner, of course, being crowned top dog. That's a shame. We've run out of pictures. We're now coming to the big dip. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you. Yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, um, well, well, I'm really just interested cost. because There's you, you've, really you've helped coordinate this campaign. Sorry, Boris, just a second. Yeah, yeah, you helped coordinate this Labour campaign. And his Hang on, Boris, in the Brexit just, negotiations. just a second. Sorry, he's just been shouting in my ear. Well, uh, just oh, but a piece. Mm. Eric, it's a great pleasure to meet you. Eric Sharden, thank you so much. Oh. Have you finished? You finished now? I have. I, <laughs> yes. Great pleasure to meet you. <laughs> uh, 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 so, what will you do with this? Look? Well, we're, we're still on. We're, I've got a bit of work to do. You'll take a bit of it. Uh, stick it in you've there. just been on live across the nation. I should have warned you of that beforehand. <laughs> now you tell me. <laughs> now I tell you. Thank you so much. It was really great to see you. <laughs> Very good afternoon to you. I think it's still afternoon. <laughs> You're watching Afternoon Live from BBC News. Is there any reason Someone why... Someone with a sense of humour there. Is there any reason why every director in that box has grey hair? Well, it's because most of them are quite old. <laughs> uh, I should mention we're losing Paul Risley, who's, who's a, a director who I've worked with for many years here and we'll miss him as well. I, I just want, I'm just watching that because, yeah, we... we we cover serious stuff, but the, perhaps the most remarkable thing I've ever done is, is the annual D-Day commemorations at Aramosh and, and talking to veterans. Do you know, we have a fantastic job. We meet some amazing people. Sorry, I get it choked up. Yeah. Just watching that interview. I know, I know. You meet fabulous We are the people. luckiest people yeah, sometimes. We are. I'm going to tell an anecdote, because we, we go back all the way to the Lebanon War. Do you remember this? I do. And we were working in an office together. Yeah, and it was a rather posh fish. office, actually. Yeah, they had a fish tank. It had it's a fish good. tank. <laughs> it had a fish tank in the middle of the office. Oh, and know. as the war progressed, I realised that no-one in the BBC was actually feeding these fish. And so I started to feed them. And Simon thought this was very funny because they were dying one by one through the course of the war. And well, I don't we... think it was that funny. <laughs> <laughs> but as we went forward... I could be sacked for this. Oh, it as we matter. went forward... Every two-way I did, every time you interviewed me, there was always a fish reference which took us back to these times in Lebanon. So it would be, give us a sense of place, Christian, or it would be, is there a porpoise to this, this two-way? And, uh, and so we bonded over that and we formed a friendship, but you've been a really good colleague, and I, for one, will very much miss you, and I know everybody out there is going to miss you as well. Thank you very much. I, uh, the, the important people, and uh, I, I think what we in the news channel certainly have done, is the audience. Uh, yeah. And in Afternoon Live, we, we, I think we built up... Uh, people who just liked what we did, uh, trusted us, and, and I will miss the BBC hugely. It, it is a remarkable place, um, and yes, we've, um, we, we've put the audience first, and I think that's been really important. Most people get a gold clock, but you get a, a, I've got a, a block of, of A4 paper. Do you know, it is the nature of this business. You're remembered for things like that. I, I'll be remembered for <laughs> surfboarding dogs. <laughs> This, standing outside that wretched hospital, talking about something that wasn't new. Do you know, when I, sp I, sp I spoke to William I, uh, uh, afterwards, and he, ju he, he just said, uh, we, we, we love the baby stuff. And, I, and I, I'm standing with Prince William, and he said, I said, you, you're all Hannah's, you, you mean the birth of, you, of your son? He said, yeah, it was great, he said, we were watching inside, and you got it just right. Mm -hmm. And, you know, all the papers are saying, oh, how dare they. It, we, 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 I think we've just touched... Uh, I think the mood, I hope that's yeah. what we've done, and uh, I, uh, it's been a great privilege to work here. And they called him George, and, and not did. Simon. There's still time. <laughs> do, you want to do, the, do you want to do the honours? Do you want to throw us to the weather for the last time? Uh, I'm going to the wrong camera, but that's partly because Paul Rise is directly, and he's never been very good. Uh, here with the weather for the last time, it's Helen Willits. Thank you. <laughs>